subscribe to know your air force channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update hello my dear friends i hope you all are doing well you are watching know your air force and today we are going to talk about ins calvary which is a indian naval submarine this is basically an air force channel but i thought to introduce to introduce you to ins calvary because it is a recent development in india and it is take it is it can be taken as a current affair and you guys must know about it so let's begin so let me first tell you guys about the tiger shark this tiger shark is a macro predator shark uh, it means that this is a very giant shark and the it, it is it comes on the top of the food chain it is common world it is common in worldwide and it is found in tropical and warm temperate coastal waters it is considered as the most dangerous shark in terms of number of attacks and fatalities that it has caused to human beings the physique of this shark is 16 feet its length is 16 feet and is it weighs more than 1400 pounds which is very much it is a type of shark that becomes curious and aggressive in contact with human beings. It is an indiscriminate omnivore that is known to eat most marine animals, terrestrial animals and even man-made garbage floating in the sea. Now you can see how dangerous this tiger shark is. Now you might be wondering that why am I talking about tiger shark here because in Malayalam language, Kalwari means tiger shark. Therefore, the name is given to the Indian Naval Submarine and this culvery is a sheer symbol of agility, strength and predatory prowess. It is considered as the most potent platform to have been constructed in India and it is regarded as a very prestigious acquisition because Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself presented this submarine to the Indian Navy. Since 2016, this submarine is going on trials uh, since it was fully constructed and today formally it has been in inducted in the Indian Navy. And the construction of this submarine started in 2006 uh, on 14th December 2006 at MDL Yard which is there in Mumbai. And another good thing about this submarine is that it has been built using boot together modular approach of construction. Boot together means five separate sections were welded into one to make this submarine. On 30th July 2014, boot together of INS Culvery was completed. And you might have also heard the word scorpion with this submarine. Scorpion means conventional powered submarine. Conventional power means diesel electric submarine, not the one which is powered by nuclear power. There are so many submarines out there which are powered by nuclear power, but this Scorpion submarine is the one which is conventionally powered. That means it is powered by diesel electric. And the weight category of this submarine is 1500 tons. It can go up to the depths of 300 meters. INS Culvery was first put to the sea on 1st May 2016. She has since undergone a comprehensive trial schedule to validate her compatibility to float, to move and to fight towards the last. She has undertaken successful torpedo launch as well as Navy's maiden SM-39 Exocet combat missile firing on 2nd of March 2017. The formal delivery of the boat to the Indian Navy is the last milestone before commissioning. On completion of trials, the boat was delivered to the Indian Navy by MDL on 21st of September 2017. That means the INS Culvery was fully undergone testing, had fully undergone testing till the 21st September 2017. That means everything was completed and till 21st September 2017 and it was given to the Indian Navy but recently it has been formally inducted to the Indian Navy and the INS Culvery is a potent man of war man of war means a ship which is designed for wars that is the ship is very capable in war conditions and the motto of INS Culvery is 
ever on world. An INS Culvery is capable of undertaking offensive operations spanning across the entire spectrum of maritime warfare. It is also capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, mine laying and area surveillance. And now let me tell you some specifications of INS Culvery. The length of this submarine is 67.5 meters and the height of the submarine is 12.3 meters. And now dear friends, let's talk about some technical aspects of this submarine. This submarine is a very stealth submarine. Stealth here means that it can it is not easy to detect the submarine under waters when it is there under operations. And it has its own sonar suit capable enabling long range detection and classification which can detect and classify other submarines or ships in the waters which is known as LOFR that is L low frequency analysis and ranging LOFAR low frequency analysis and ranging which is this submarine's sonar suit sonar we know that it is the technology related to sound that can be used to detect anything around us using sound waves which originate from that source and detect that thing whichever we want to detect and returns back to us that's how we are able to detect any other thing around us using this sonar technology which uses sound waves and once this submarine detects anything around it it has two different options it can either use its SM Exosat missiles or it can also use its surface and underwater target torpedoes which is a very heavy missile and for self-defense this submarine has mobile C-303-S anti-torpedo decoys now, all these capabilities make this submarine one of the best in the world and we as Indians should be proud of this submarine now let's briefly talk about some importance of INS Culvery for India and Indian Ocean. INS Culvery is the prime example of the Make in India campaign launched by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This submarine is one of the six submarines under this program. The remaining five submarines are expected to be fully inducted into the Indian Navy by 2020 or 2021. And INS Culvery is another excellent illustration of the fast-growing strategic partnership between India and France. India and France have always been a good defense partners. We are taking Rafale aircraft from France and we are doing naval exercises with France also. So INS Culvery is another excellent illustration of this partnership. And Indian Ocean is the only ocean in the whole world whose name is given after a country that is India as we all know that China is trying to increase its dominance around the Indian Ocean by making its ports in Sri Lanka and Gwadar ports in Pakistan and even in Djibouti so it is imperative of India to have such submarines in the Indian Ocean waters and Indian Ocean is also considered as a very important trade route as most of the trade takes place through the Indian Ocean. It is also important because Indian Ocean connects West Asia that is the Gulf countries Oman and all these countries to the East Asia and these Gulf countries supply oil to these East, A East Asian countries through the Indian Indian Ocean trade route and the ports which China has made in these countries that are Mal that are Maldives Maldives and China are under an agreement about which they about which the China will con make its ports in Maldives and Gwadar is there in Pakistan and Hambantota is there in Sri Lanka in Bangladesh it is there and all these ports are of dual nature that means they are not only for the trade purposes but they can also be militar militarily used when it is necessary that's why it is very important for us to have these submarines in the Indian Ocean 
so friends that's all for this video i thank all of you for listening me do tell me in the comment section below that do you like this animation method that i created today or do you like the old powerpoint presentation method do tell me please and consider subscribing if you like the content thanks for watching jai hind